and this is going to be a little a little tricky at first we'll go ahead and turn the scale up just a little bit so we have like a little bit of a mountain kind of hill just a little hilly type thing uh, and we're going to strength up a lot but we do not want this any peak to go underneath this blue line if any peak goes underneath this blue line we're going to have some really weird lighting you can see it it'll get dark there all of a sudden because it's going too it's 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 making the energy negative and since this is animated with noise usually we can't make negative numbers um but it's it's working that way because it it's letting us do that because of the noise we don't want anything underneath the line is pretty much what i'm saying so we'll go ahead and try to avoid this by by bumping the depth up and getting rid of that noise line under there and giving a little bit more niceness to it so we'll change the offset change the phase up a little bit make sure nothing is going underneath that blue line and we want to get it as close to the line as possible but we just don't want it under the line so that looks pretty good we can change the phase to try and avoid that looks pretty good we can go ahead and get it pretty even uh, back and forth there which is what we need we're trying to look for the most even back and forth we can find there we go looks good and we'll do the same thing for the rest of the lamps here so I'll select this lamp and do the same exact thing go to the first frame um, hover my cursor over top of energy I modifier add modifier noise scale up strength up depth up not too much though I don't want it I don't want it to be really bumpy like that just just enough so it pulls in those bigger frequencies it's like a compressor if you've ever done any music before but we're gonna change that phase and we'll grab this little orange line you see this there's an orange dot here we'll grab that orange dot and pull it down that is the, the actual keyframe itself and then I'll go ahead and do that for the other two lamps as well all right, I seem to have done all of the point lamps here. We have uh, different energy values for all of these bad boys now, uh, which looks pretty good. So if we were to play this now, you can see that the uh, the lights do flicker at different intervals, which looks really pretty cool. Um, and the great thing about this is, like I said, uh, it gives a little bit more depth to the scene. We go ahead and turn overlays, overlays off. It gives a little bit more depth. I think our camera zoomed out too far. So we'll select our camera, go back to the focal length in the lens tab here. And we'll just zoom it in just a wee bit. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Uh, the final thing is, of course, the depth of field. We could be done right now if you wanted clear uh, uh, effects, which is really nice. This looks nice the way it is. Um, we could completely leave it just like this, and it would be great. It'd be fine. But I do want to do a little bit of depth of field. So we'll go ahead and go to our render tab and make sure uh, depth of field is enabled, which now you can see it just made everything blurry because we don't have a, a focal depth set yet. So we'll go to the camera tab with our camera selected. Go to depth of field and go to, uh, we can go out of our camera. We have to go out of our camera for this. We'll turn overlays back on and we'll make sure in our camera, no, not camera, uh, viewport display here, uh, our limits are on and the size uh, is, no, not the size, sorry. The, what am I doing here? All right. Oh, yes. Okay. So the limits are on and up here in the focus distance and depth of field. We have to make sure that this is uh, laying almost just on our, the front of our text here. Now, what I'm going to do is changing the f-stop is what's going to help us out here. If we turn this all the way down to 0.1, you can see the effect we're getting now. It looks like it's doing nothing, right? It looks like I'm doing nothing when I'm way up here. But if we go all the way down to 0.1, you can see that now we have some bokeh, which looks really nice. But if you want to change this down, you can change the, uh, the, the number of blades to get different shapes. So you can do triangles, which looks pretty cool if you have three blades. Um, and if you have uh, uh, four blades, you can do a square five blades you get like a hexagon pentagon you know all that all this good stuff until it goes up more and more and more or you can go all the way on zero and of course there's circles so i think i'm gonna go with the um the in between there i like the way that looks that looks pretty cool but uh that is our complete future animation really cool intro like style text um scene i uh, thought that was pretty cool uh, i hope i hope you guys enjoyed it i figured i'd share it with you guys i was playing around with a couple different effects and came up with this i'll see you guys in the next tutorial but until then bye bye